Yeah, it's been kind of a roller coaster ride. Uh, I think the first time I signed a track uh, with Armada was 2009. It was uh, M6 Fade to Black. And it was um, one of the tracks that Armin played at uh, his Armin Only show, which was amazing for me as a big fan uh, already. So uh, that's the first moment. And then in 2013, I released Requiem, which was uh, the track that lifted me to uh, yeah, a bigger platform. And uh, it was the most played trance track of 2013, uh, by, supported by the DJs. And also it was featured in a movie, so also something totally new and crazy. Definitely a highlight. Uh, after that, uh, shortly after, I did the collab with Armin Pantare, uh, which uh, he invited me on stage for to uh, premiere it at ASOT uh, for yeah, very, I don't think, 20,000 people at the same time partying to our track. So that was a magical moment as well. Uh, as an artist, I, in the beginning, I thought just put out the music. That's enough. And, you know, while it's obviously a very important part, uh, it's the the amount of work you put in everything you do, everything around the music as well, and, and surrounding yourself with the right people, build the right team, uh, yeah, people that help you um, with the things you're not good at. You know, so I can focus on the music and the performance, and then I have other people taking, helping me out with social media and all the other stuff. This is something that's been going on since high school uh, because I lived close to the school. Whenever we had an hour off at school, uh, I would bring my friends over at my house and it became a tradition that I would make tosties, which are yeah, grilled cheese uh, sandwiches. And so I was uh, anointed the king of uh, tosties, tosti koning. And uh, it's been a tradition and uh, I think uh, today to celebrate the 10 years, I'm gonna share with you guys.